The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, The world will hate you if you do not follow their way of life. The world will hate you if you do not accommodate yourself with the values and the system of the world. If the world's values are corrupt, you will have to be corrupt. And so, Jesus gives us a very challenging statement saying, they hated me first, so how will you escape from being hated? They hated me first, and so will they hate you. You will experience terrible persecutions for my sake. I have done it in obedience to the law of God, even unto death. You have been chosen by me, the Lord says, and therefore the world will hate you. But remember that you are my friend. You are not just a servant who doesn't know the master's business, but you are my friend. And to belong to me is a great pleasure for you. Dear brothers and sisters, you know in life, people hate us. Sometimes we have more hatred towards us is when we have been justful, when we have been truthful. If you are a manager in a school, if you are a manager in a company or any institution, if you are truthful, they will get you out from there because the world accommodates itself in a corrupt system. So a person who belongs to Christ needs to be truthful. Persecution is very necessary for you. And therefore, we know that our sufferings are salvific. Our sufferings lead us to salvation. And we only need to bear all the sufferings in life with patience and with joy. Everyone suffers. In the family, our father, mother suffer. They experience persecutions from their neighbor, neighborhood, from people outside, from government officials. If we give 
them what they want, then we are in peace. If we oppose giving them corruption, we will be in trouble. Therefore, many a times, we don't want to be in trouble. We don't want to be persecuted. So we cooperate with the evil ones. We give in to. We also give in to hell. When we do that, we also choose things against Jesus Christ, against the will of God. And that is how we cause sufferings which are self-inflicted sufferings. And those sufferings lead us to humiliation. Those sufferings lead us to damnation. We need to be truthful to whatever extent there may be persecutions. To me as a priest, how much of it I will have to experience this in the place where I work with my own authorities who do not understand us so easily, with our own people who do not understand us even to the minutest, to our own in-laws who do not want to understand us. We need to be truthful in spite of sufferings and struggles. They hated our Lord. They even crucified him on the cross. But his sufferings brought us joy in his resurrection. And so to us, all those who partake in the sufferings of Christ, by being truthful, we all will have to suffer, but we will have the reward of the resurrection. Amen.